huh? This is definitely by my room, but the nameplate has Sayaka's name on it. Wait, switch? Huh? This is Sayaka's room, right? The nameplate has my name on it. The nameplates on my room and Sayaka's room were switched. All that effort I was putting in switching the rooms without anyone knowing about it was totally pointless. But why would anyone do that? There's not going to be anything in here because we did not commit the murder. Yes. You. Seems like... Something doesn't seem right. Monokuma Files said Sayak was killed in your room. I just can't stop thinking about it. Could it be the nameplate? You're the killer. Very strange. So, why was Sayaka in your room when she was killed? Could it be because you are the culprit? Oh, you've got it all wrong. Sayaka and I switched rooms last night. He didn't even try to hide the suspicion on his face. Hmm. Even if what you say is the absolute truth, you're still responsible for her death, wouldn't you say? No. She wouldn't have died if she hadn't switched rooms with you, right? <sighs> yeah. The reason Sayaka was killed is because I suggested we switch rooms? Now, don't let you doubt yourself, buddy. She's dead because of me? Then, it should have been me that died? <laughs> well, all we could say now is that it's a possibility. But that's... If that's really true, then I... Holy shit. You. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Very strange. Mr. Nagy, what was Miss Mazono doing in your room? Let me just say this. Most suspicious. I absolutely will not allow you to dispose of any evidence in the trash room. Do you really think I'm guilty? You're the only one who's confused about the rooms. I'm a suspect of you. Trash room. This is where all the trash in school eventually winds up. How do you get this gate open? No, no, you can't go no, any no, no. further. No, no, no. entry beyond this point. Only the person on clean duty is allowed in. I'll take it that's you. Cleaning duty? No, no, you can't go no, any no, further. No, no, no. Now entry beyond this point. Only the person on cleaning duty is allowed in. Who's on cleaning duty? You can't go okay. any further! This is stupid. It better it be faster just to go around and ask the others. No, no! You can't go any okay. further! Cool. <sighs> yep. That's interesting. 
would you care to have an answer for who's on cleaning duty? Seems like... Yep. Laundry? Anything suspect in the laundry? Shout out to Junko's magazines. There's some magazines lying around. No help there. Somebody could be washing their clothes right now. Whatever. What is this? There's a swimsuit hanging out to dry. Okay. So, clothes have nothing to do with. Whatever. Knives would most likely come from the dining hall. Sup. You know, are you investigating the dining hall? Hmm. Oh no, I'm just taking a break. Actually, I've been taking a break since we started. This is all a first for me, you know? I don't have the first clue what I should be doing. I know what you mean. <laughs> and I don't know why, but being in the dining hall helps me keep calm. So, I know I shouldn't, but I've just been kinda hanging around here. To tell you the truth, I was doing the same thing last night when Sayaka was killed. Elaborate? Hmm. No? <laughs> okay. That's not suspect or anything. We're going into the kitchen now. Cut Louie over there. There are all kinds of kitchen knives here, big to small, but you know, one size things to be missing. Looks like one of them is missing, and embedded in Sayaka's chest. Was it missing from the very beginning, or... Let's see if anyone else here knows more about it. If you were here last night, you should know. You. That one of the kitchen knives is missing from the dining hall. Yeah, totally. Yeah, weird, huh? I thought it was kind of strange, and I've just suddenly disappearing like that. Oh, so it wasn't missing from the beginning. That's nope. right. Last I remember, they were all lined up in a nice neat row. So when did you notice one of them had disappeared? Well. Well, I went to get some tea from the kitchen last night, and all the knives were still there. But when I finished my tea and went back into the kitchen to wash my glass, one of the knives was gone. So you're saying the knife disappeared while you were drinking your tea in the dining hall? Hmm. Yep. In other words, you were right there in the dining hall when someone came and took it. Then you should be able to say for sure. You tell everyone I didn't come to the dining hall last night, which proves that I didn't take it. Hey, by the way, did you really kill Sayaka? What? Of course not, I would never. Yeah. You know, do you really think I murdered her? Because, I well, mean... She was killed in your room, right? So, I mean... You guys were supposed to be friends, right? But you still killed her. On the other hand, two people becoming good friends, then one killing the other is a classic drama setup. So, when you consider everything together, Aww. I honestly have no idea. Yeah. I suppose you don't. It's a 
real shame. Yeah. Maybe we could ask... What's his face about? Trash duty. Um, I'm looking for overs on cleaning duty. Mm. Cleaning duty? As a matter of fact, that's me, why do you ask? It just so happens that Minokuma talked to me yesterday and asked me to take care of it. Without someone on cleaning duty, the school would be flooded with trash in no time. <laughs> so I formally applied for the position. Mm. I was going to start this morning, but after what happened, I haven't had a chance to get started. And since you're on cleaning duty, you can open the gate in front of the trash room. Here we go! Of course! It's my job to gather up all the garbage and toss it into the trash room. And to do that, they gave me the key for the trash room gate. Mm -hmm. But we're supposed to rotate once a week, so eventually we'll be in charge. Very strange. Wait, hold on. You need a key to get into the trash room, and only the person on cleaning duty has access to the key. What's the point of going to all that trouble? Why not just leave the trash room open all the time so we can all throw things away whenever we want? So somebody can't hide murder evidence. That does seem more convenient. So in other words... Actually... Yep. Rule 6. So that's it. That must be why. Anyone can go in and out of the trash room whenever they wanted. Then destroying evidence would be easy. The thrill would disappear, and things would become boring. Boring? Seriously, dude. Hey, listen. Anyway, more important than that. Hey, you bastard. Hey, fatty. Why'd you want the clean to do the gig anyway? Oh, um. I just decided to volunteer for something I knew no one else would want to do. What's the big deal? You liar. I know why you did it. Is it like you want to dig through all the girls' trash looking for you know and poking around at it? <sighs> Probably. There's no way to think about this in a common sense kind of way. What are you talking about? All my love is for 2D. You know what I mean. But there's all kinds of disgusting... There's all kinds of trash diggers like that. Maybe you, you'll get tired of 2D and then turn to... Completely unforgivable! <laughs> I would never get tired of 2D. <laughs> After spending a significant amount of time comparing 2D and 3D, I voluntarily chose 2D. The only thing 3D is good for is to shower love and affection on 2D. Oh, and PVC figurines. Yeah. Yep. Gotta collect them all, you know. Give me a break. How are you not totally embarrassed to say stuff like that? Hmm. If you're so worried about Fumi's questionable morality, there's a very easy solution. Whenever a guy has clean duty, Sakura can accompany them for picking up the trash to from picking up the trash to disposing of it. What? What? If you're as innocent as you claim, where's the harm in it? <laughs> That's not how it's supposed to. Anyway, on another topic, Fumi, since you were on cleaning duty, I have a favor to ask you. Mm-hmm. What, so now you suddenly want to join my party? Sorry, but you haven't triggered that flag yet. Jesus Christ, buddy. I mean, you haven't helped me recover from a past trauma, or save the village, or be a boss. No, nothing like that. I was just hoping to get into the trash room and look around. You got it! Oh, okay. So easy. So Fumi and I headed to the trash room. Mm. You'd like me to mm. open the gate, wouldn't you? <laughs> you know, when I look at it, it makes me think. They said he killed his wife. He learned how to get by on the inside, but he never stopped dreaming. What? Get busy living or get busy dying, you said. So him and Rita, they found themselves a way out. Whatever. Please, just hurry up. Da, 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 da. Okie dokie, leave it to me. Fumi pulled the key out of his pocket and used it to put the switch next to the gate. And then... 
Mr. Nagi! However, Mr. Nagi. Without a doubt! Surely you aren't planning to use the trash room to destroy evidence, are you? You fiend. You planned this all along. Buddy, you're here. With me. No. I just want to see if the actual killer had tried to destroy any evidence or not. Hmm. But the hmm. actual killer is hmm. you, isn't hmm. it? You want to see if you've left anything behind. <laughs> Wait, maybe a parallel world? Whatever, let's just hurry up and keep looking. Bloody something. There's something on the ground in front of the incinerator. Looks like a piece of something. It's clothing. Button sleeve. Mm. A burnt piece, like a hunk. Like a hunk of burning love. Yeah. Yep. Anyway, this is... Looks like a piece of cloth in shape. It, it's a sleeve. It's part of the sleeve from a button-up shirt. Now that I look at it, it's def- That's definitely blood on the cuff, which means... This is all that's left of some of the evidence the killer destroyed. But there are lots of people here with, like, button-up shirts. This isn't enough by itself to figure out who the killer is. Yep. This. There are shards of broken glass scattered around in front of the incinerator. It's like it used to be some kind of glass ball. Just about big enough to fit in the palm of your hand. Is this perhaps... Is that... Do you know what this is? Mm-hmm. They say if you collect all seven of Dragon Wolf here, I grant you a single wish. Okay. Hmm. Mm, kidding aside, it's the kind of thing you might see on uh, any big city street corner. Gaze into it, and it'll show you a glimpse of the future. Just like that Nina girl who was on that quest to find that one guy. Yeah, I get what you're trying to say. Who did this particular ball belong to? There's only one person it could be. They should all still be in the gym. I better go find out for sure. Cool. You think of the dumpster? It's a huge trash can. That round, we're supposed to put whatever trash we can't burn. Well, whatever it is for, it doesn't look like it's hiding any clues. Okay. This is the incinerator. It's way in the back part of the trash room. It's a good 30 feet from here to the gate. Ah, and it's on right now. Mm -hmm. Do you see the green and yellow buttons next to the mouth of the incinerator? Yes, indeed! It's a pretty simple setup. You press the green button to get it going, and the yellow button to turn it off. Sooner or later, you'll be on cleaning duty. So make sure you learn this before you leave. Okay? Huh? Someone turned the incinerator on. Very strange. I'm quite certain it was off last time I was down here. Was it a fairy? Perhaps it was the one of a fairy. Hey, Fumi. Do you realize what you just said? <laughs> huh? The fairy? No, you said the last time you were here, the incinerator was off. Ah, uh, yes. About that. About that, there can be no mistake. If I've got one thing going for me, it's my memory. I feel as if... Yesterday, as soon as I was appointed, I came down to check the place out. It definitely wasn't on then. I haven't been back to the trash room since then. Since I'm the only one who has a key to open the gate. Most suspicious. It should be impossible for the incinerator to be on, and yet... So that means someone was able to switch on the incinerator without opening the gate. But how is that possible? Cool. Hmm. This whole thing is quite strange hmm. indeed. Hmm. When I was here last, the incinerator was off. And those glass shards and burnt clothes weren't. Completely unforgivable! What does it all mean, Mr. Nagy? Will you be confessing soon? 
I needed your help to get in here. The, the killer obviously didn't need your help to get in here. Why me? That's it! I'm sure of it! Everyone already knows you did it. All the mysteries are being solved one by one. You're fucking stupid. Sounds like he's living out one of his comic book fantasies. So I can't turn off the incinerator and look inside and see if anything, like, somehow survived. Okay. We're going to the Gaim. My Gaimon. There you go. Yeah, the Gaim is not easily accessed. Oh, that's the wrong button. Have yeah, fun. Yes, yet. Seems like. Whatever. Uh. Right. Fast travel to the game. Oh, we should go to the AV room and watch the footage. Suck, bro. Listen to me! Do you have a second, Makoto? I've uncom uncovered something most unusual. The door to everyone's dorm has a nameplate onto it. Yep. You hear me? Well, it just so happens. <clears throat> Wait, no, no, no. You might be the killer yourself. I can't tell you anything. Got it! Forget everything I just said. Forget, 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 Beam. <laughs> Sorry, just a little joke. Even I do jokes sometimes. Ha ha ha. Yep. Yeah, I know. Mine got swapped. Sorry, Sayaka. Curiosity killed the cat. I should be able to use this to see what it was on the DVD. DVD of Sayaka throwing the garbage. Oh no, what's it gonna be? Image slowly appeared. It looked like some kind of concert. Standing on stage, front and center, was a face I recognized all too well. Sayaka. She was there, along with the friend she had. She said had been so important to her. She was positively glowing there in front of the crowd. So full of life. Seeing that image made it even harder to accept. Except that... she was dead. My vision started to blur and darken, and then... that voice I'd come to despise so much began to float out of the speakers. Sayaka Maizono, the ultimate pop sensation, lead singer for a world-famous all-girl pop band. For these girls, the glowing spotlight only made them that much more beautiful. But then... Suddenly the screen went dark. And then the next moment, I saw something I could hardly believe. <gasps> that... Holy shit. Sayaka had disappeared from the stage, which is now in ruins. But what I notice, even more than that, is all the freaking dead bodies on the ground. It was the figures of the other girls, who had all simply collapsed. This ultra successful team suddenly fell apart! Jeez, I see why she was so broken. None of them will ever perform on stage again. None of them will ever feel the warmth of the spotlight. Holy shit. For Sayaka, there's simply nowhere for her to return to. <sighs> so here's the billion dollar question. What oh what could have caused the group to go to pieces? Oh, you know. 
losing their lead singer, getting murdered by you. For the answer after graduation. Without warning, the video cut off. What the hell? That wasn't real, right? They're a super famous pop group. Everyone knows who they are. Is he trying to say he was even able to get to them? If that really did happen, everyone in the outside world must be going crazy. Maybe he got to everybody. What kind of person would take things this far? No man. No man would take it this far. Okay, so, holy shit, this is too intense, I don't like you, I'm not visiting you, I'm going to the, uh, Gaim. Ultimate Programmer is here, who can help me decipher the code that says Leon, upside down. Hey. Hey, Chihiro, I was hoping I could ask you something. Huh? Oh? What is it? Before she died, Sayaka left a message. She wrote out the numbers 11037. Do you have any idea? what these numbers might mean. Like, could they be a code or something? Mmm. Um... Sorry, no. Chira slowly shook her head. Uh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, I just don't know. Okay, well, don't worry about it. Thanks anyway for trying. And she doesn't know. Or could she maybe know more than she's letting on? No. Couldn't be. You. What's up with the crystal ball? Hey, hero, can I ask you something? Uh -huh. No, 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 no. I gotta get out of here. Gotta get out now. I've had enough. Gotta break free. Hero, snap out of it. Uh, um. Huh, Makoto. What are you doing here? What? Hey, um. Does this look familiar? Ugh. Uh. Uh. That's my crystal ball. But it's all smashed. What the hell? What the heck? I, I only bought it because the guy said it was blessed. He said it was unbreakable. So how did it break? What? what? Was it actually just made of glass and not crystal? Did that guy totally dupe me? <sighs> he said it belonged to the pillars of history. Genghis Khan, George Washington, Napoleon. He said whoever controlled that crystal ball controlled the world. Is that seriously all BS? Um, let's put that aside for now. So you could say without a doubt that this belonged to you. Uh, um... Yeah, that, that's mine for sure. I probably forgot it in the laundry room last night. Someone must have come by and snatched it. You left it in the laundry room. That means anyone could have found it and taken it. Thanks, Hero. That's all I wanted to know. Um... Sure. No. Um, by the way, I'm almost afraid to ask, but how much did you pay for that thing? <sighs> Everything I saved up from fortune telling for two full years. So, how much? Came out to be like... Um... Wow. A million? Uh, um... That's pretty cheap, actually. I mean, considering its powers control the world. That's just too... too stupid. I can't even feel bad for him. Is that it? Um, so, uh, I'm getting tired of waiting. What say we just get started, hmm? Cool. It's time for the long-awaited class trial! Fun! Now then. Allow me to appoint a proper location for the proceedings. Please go through the red door on the first floor of the school. That's what it's for. 
See you soon. See ya, buddy. The red door on the first floor. That's where I should go. No, where I have to go. Sup, guys? Yo! You're late, Makoto. We've all been waiting for you. <laughs> Bet you were afraid you'd be discovered as the murderer you are. I hate you. I really do. Listen to me! Let's not jump to conclusions just yet. Save that for the class trial. There we can all reveal the details of Makoto's crime. <laughs> Seriously. <laughs> so they really are convinced I did it, but... I didn't do it. Me and Sayaka both know that all too well. But then, who is the killer? <laughs> one who murdered Sayaka. Is it really one of us? <laughs> Is everyone here? Okay then. Please board the elevator in front of you, which will transport you to the courtroom. Joy. Where all your fates will be decided. <laughs> I'll meet you all down there. I'll be waiting. Let's go. Got it. Relax. I haven't decided 100% that you're the culprit just yet. Maybe, but you're obviously leaning that way. Can I? Can I? I guess I have no choice but to get on this elevator. Well then, let us begin. Yes, Good idea. indeed. Yep. Hey. Are, are you scared? No, scared isn't quite right. Makoto. I said it before, but it's up to you to uncover the mystery surrounding this case yourself. If you don't, you'll never come to grips with the truth. I need to uncover the truth of Sayaka's death. I didn't need someone else to tell me to do that. In Sayaka's honor. I swear I'll find out who the real killer is. So I raised my voice to try to give myself courage. I turned, trembling with anticipation, toward the elevator. With each step forward, I could feel my heart starting to race faster and faster. Everyone was already on the elevator when I finally stepped on. The doors closed, and the elevator started to move. The steel box descended with heavy clunking sounds toward the school's basement. I wonder if this is how a death row inmate feels when his time finally comes. Oh! Rather than that, is it not more like a defendant waiting to receive his judgment? Oblivious to our shared anxiety, the elevator lowered us further into the school bowels of the school. <laughs> you finally arrived. Oh. <clears throat> you finally arrived. What do you think? Doesn't it feel just like a real courtroom? It's like a Hollywood movie set, right? Dude, shit. Not even close, it's total shit. Well now. Okay, okay, everyone find your assigned seats and sit down. Yeah! Hurry up now, hurry up. We did what he said. Found our seats. <laughs> Shout out to the two pictures of the deceased. The seats were arranged in a giant circle. Set up so that everyone could see everyone else. Which also meant it'd be easy for anyone to transfer their attention on these onto anyone else. The air seemed to grow heavy as we sat there. So, the curtain on our first case opens. A deadly judgment. A deadly deception. A deadly betrayal. A deadly riddle. A deadly defense. A deadly faith. A deadly 
Class Trial. <laughs>